Hello, and welcome to Dratman Plays Stardew Valley Wilderness Farm Edition Season 1, Episode 13. It's the 13th of spring today, and that means it's the Egg Festival. So let's uh, check the weather and the fortune. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be... It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Excellent. And the weather, or sorry, the fortune for today is... Ah, I sense a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Well, that's nice. Wait, was there anything else there? No. No living off the land, no queen of sauce. So, uh, we got some parsnips. And some cauliflower. I want to see that. That's good news. Did we harvest any beans? Ah, there are two. Perfect. Okay, so that means that we have all the things we need for the uh, uh, spring crops bundle. We're up to four parsnips that are uh, gold parsnips, so I think we're uh, going to get the number we need there. Um, you know, these chests are getting kind of crowded. Do we have any wood over here? No. Okay, so I'll grab 50 wood from here, and I'm going to make an additional chest. So something I often do is um, <clears throat> I create a chest that is especially for uh, bundles and gifts. And I usually stick it around here. Um, I color it red. Red for gifts and happiness and joy. Uh, so let's see here. One of these, one of those. I don't think any of these other things need to go into bundles. Well, at least not right now. You know what? I know eventually we will need that. Not 100% certain about these other ones. I think bat wings or something we can put in one of the bundles. So I'll stick some of these in here. Um, all right then. Oh yes, and things that are gifts. So we um, grew those tulips, especially for Evelyn. Um, daffodils generally make good gifts, so we'll put those in there as well. Um, oh, you know what? We need one of these crabs for the crab pot bundle. That uh, candle there. All right. Guess we don't really need this crab. We could sell it for a hundred dollars. Maybe we should do that because we might come across more of those eventually. All right. I'm gonna just stick all this stuff in here for now. Now of these things here, let's sort them. We don't especially need that horseradish for anything in particular, so we could sell that. Um, although uh, there is a character we will meet in the winter time uh, for whom that is a loved gift, so we might want to hold on to a couple of those because obviously we won't have the opportunity to find any more horseradish after the spring. Cave carrot. Might need one or two of those things. Um, I think we can sell these uh, cauliflowers, although they're loved gifts by, I want to say, um, Maru, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think we can sell these fish. What else here can we sell? Probably don't need this many topaz. I know that, um, I'll tell you what. Clint loves those, so let's put at least two of these these here. One for his birthday and one just in case we get him for the feast of the... Um, oh, we want to put the crab in there. Oh, we did. This is the extra crab. Um, yeah, what the heck. Just all the stuff. We do need some money. Okay, so that's a little bit of uh, the organizing done. And uh, one thing that I, I realized is that we're not going to get our watering can from... Um, Clint today because it's the festival. So we can't actually um, water our plants today. 
But that's not the end of the world because we got the stuff that we needed. That is to say, we got the uh, the cauliflower, green bean, potato, and uh, parsnip. I was thinking I would go cut down some trees in the forest, but I sort of feel like while I'm here, maybe I'll clear things out a little bit. Okay. So one thing we talked about in a previous episode is potentially um, gathering wood to finish that uh, bridge or to fix the bridge at the beach. So I just spent 50. And before I did that, I think we were just slightly shy of the number we needed. So we need to cut down maybe three or four trees to get us back to the point where we have enough wood to fix that bridge. So let's do that. Oh, egg festival's begun. Oh, that reminds me. We have the uh, egg hunt to do. And... I was planning to kind of look up some optimal routes, and I didn't do that. So I'm going to go into this blind. I mean, I've, I've done the egg hunt many times, but I haven't really uh, decided upon an optimal route. I don't have one memorized that I always do or anything like that. So I'll be kind of shooting from the hip a bit in terms of just kind of uh, winging it. All right, I'll grab these spring onions, and then we'll, we'll head over there. I don't... I think there's anything else we desperately need to do. I think we've got the, the wood we want. Ah, we'll cut down a couple of these guys. I think we have until two, actually, so let's cut down some trees before we go. Because uh, once we return, I think it's going to be evening. And we won't have much time to do anything else. Yeah, I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> really suck if we miss the festival. So I won't push this too much. Okay, I'll cut down this last tree and then we'll go. I think it's two, but to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Alright, let's head to this festival. I mean, we can just come back and cut all these trees down tomorrow. It's more about just trying to be economical with our time. every hour we go to the festival before we actually absolutely have to is a day or sort of an hour lost of useful time. All right, here we are. Strawberries. Okay, so I want to get at least 20 because uh, with the spring crops bundle we'll get 20 super speed grow. And that will make those 20 strawberry seeds grow extra fast. So we got and if I need to buy two more. All right, let's do it. We'll just spend all we've got on it. Now, normally I would buy like a hundred of those, but uh, as I said, in this game we're trying to keep our garden reasonable. Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight, bowls full of sweet yellow corn. So Shane is generally pretty grumpy, but he has a soft spot for chickens. He raises them and is, uh, speaks quite fondly of them. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Well, that's a perfectly reasonable reason to come to the festival there, Linus. Is there any more food? Uh, Clint always thinking with a stomach. Hey, hey, I put something nice into the punch. Oh, did you, Pam? I wonder what that was. Spring is a busy time of year. So it's nice to have a day off to catch up with friends. That's so nice. That is very true. Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. So Abby is our main rival when it comes to the egg hunt. She will win it if we don't. Even with my bad leg, leg I never miss a town festival. Uh, no. Well, okay. Take a photo, snap. Let's see what Willie has to say. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until the summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> you trickster, Willie. Well, let's go talk to the doc. Eggs definitely have a place in a well-balanced diet. I agree with that, Harvey. Let's talk to Alex. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. 
Well, you know what, Alex? I usually eat three eggs a day, too. This festival is alright, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Yeah, she is usually the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the flower princess or something like that. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mayor Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. Yeah, sounds like the sort of thing you do. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. It kind of is, isn't it? Sniff. Oh, my dough. Allergies. Ah, oh, poor Sam. Is there anyone down here? Nope. Let's see what Elliot has to say. Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. I agree with that. Hmm, this fruit punch is unusually good. Haha. <laughs> Yes, I do appreciate Pam's contribution to the potluck. I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always my favorite part of the season. Vincent loves the fest for this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Oh, that's nice. Welcome to the egg festival. Compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. The children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. Hey, come back here. When does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. Uh, okay, so I think we've spoken to everyone, so let's go ahead and uh, see what Mary Lewis has to say. Oh, wait, did we talk to Demetrius? Egg, what a strange thing to eat. I wonder why he thinks it's strange. As far as I know, he's not vegan. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Yes, let's start. All right, so here goes nothing. All right, I think my plan is to go straight south and maybe to the left and then to the right. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need your all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I see one right there. Okay, there's one over here by the sewer. And down over by this tree. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one over here. Alright, I'll go check out around Lewis's. I think there's, oh, there's one in that truck. One over by the trailer. Here. Oh, another over here. How much time's left anyway? Oh, oh, I see one more. Oh, okay. Oh, what did I get? Nine? I don't know if that's enough. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out shortly. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter as efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. Chuckle. Ha ha ha. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt. Trap man! Yes! So I guess nine is how many you need to get. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now, I would have been a little bit annoyed if uh, that last egg was what made the difference between me uh <laughs> winning or not okay so let's dump a bunch of this stuff off um we probably have time to go and grab that to go to the sorry the oh i thought i put the stuff for the for the spring bundle in there maybe i didn't okay all right tell me we have a potato goodness. Okay, I think that's all we need. Let me just double check here. Oh. B. 
bean. Oh, bean and cauliflower. I need a bean. Put it in here. No, I don't need that. There we go. I might as well grab this guy. Okay, let's go. There actually isn't any urgency to get this done tonight. Um, I used to believe that you needed to plant your strawberries with the speed grow uh, the night of the festival, but it turns out you have one day's grace, so to speak. Uh, as long as you plant them by the 14th, you'll get your three harvests from the strawberries. Is this the one? No, wait. No, sorry, it's the pantry. Oh, no. That would have been terrible. I've done that before. I've, I've like, eaten gifts right before giving them to someone. It's just, like, uh, irritating, to say the least. Okay. 20 speed grow. I thought it was super speed grow. Uh-oh. I think when I did my calculations, it was based on it being super speed grow. Well, I guess we'll find out. Because I don't have the watering can, so I can't start them tonight. We can do the um, furnace room bundles. Is that what they're called? All right, we'll check that out tomorrow because uh, I sort of feel like we need to get home. So normally I would plant these tonight and water them, but we don't have the watering can, so I'm hoping that doesn't doesn't make the difference. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, worst case scenario, we just get our two harvests, but it would be kind of a shame to waste all that speed grow. Um, do we have the hoe? Yeah, there it is. Two, three, four. Get out of the way. Two, two, two. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, they should be here. Oh. As I said, I don't need to do this tonight. I'm just getting out of here. All right, we'll go to sleep for the night, and we'll call it an episode. Okay, 877 coin from cauliflower. 218 each, and 80 for this topaz. Not a bad little bit from the fish. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me for Dratman Plays Stardew Valley Wilderness Farm Edition Season 1. That was Episode 13. I hope you'll come back and join me for Episode 14. Bye-bye.